Hi guys, it is Friday here and we are really excited to be sharing this amazing yoga flow with you all in preparation for the weekend. I've got Rachel, my wonderful yogi, actually Pilates <laughs> She's going to be basically being my model for this class and we're going to have loads of fun. It's going to be really good to show you guys a little bit about how we can fine tune the postures and correct our alignment if we need and yeah it's going to be really good as well just to really show you this flow i can't wait to share it with you guys so we're going to get started as rachel is right now in child's pose so in child's pose i generally find it the most comfortable when we our knees are quite wide so rachel is perfect where she is but the others of us may find our knees maybe better together so just explore that for yourself and see what feels good you can allow your hips to rest down towards your heels and relaxing the forehead down to the earth. And we're going to really soften through the shoulders just here for a few moments. So just allowing elbows to rest heavy, forearms to be soft, resting lazily on the mat. And as we pause just here, because we are going to be moving pretty continuously through this flow, I just want us to spend a few moments here just enjoying some stillness. So connecting to the breath. I don't know how familiar Rachel is with Ujjayi breath. Do you know much about Ujjayi breath? No? We're going to learn Ujjayi breath. <laughs> so Ujjayi breath is basically like you're steaming a mirror in front of you. So if you imagine that kind of sensation, we're going but instead of breathing in and out through, in through the nose and out through the mouth, we're just going to keep the lips still. So we're keeping that slightly tension, that constriction in the back of your throat. We're breathing out from a kind of constriction to produce an audible sound. So we're inhaling, keeping that constriction. And then exhaling again, have that sense of steam if we really have. So people compare it with ocean like breathing. Others like Darth Vader snoring. Let's take that oceanic breath today. So we're going to be moving over like water. We're going to be really going with the flow. So finding this long, steady breath, again, constricting the back of your throat to produce that audible sound if that serves you. Otherwise, just breathing in and out through the nose, keeping your breath long. Good, it's really great breathing there, Rachel and I swear. Starting to melt the heart a little bit lower down towards the earth again. Yeah. Really starting to open up through the shoulders. Okay. Just pausing, just standing here, deep breath in. And resting, pausing, deep breath out. And let's kind of tabletop now as you inhale to so find our hands and our knees. And then thinking wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, spread your fingers nice and wide. Good. Well, let's start to find some cat cow breaths right here. So as you inhale, start to tilt your tailbone towards the sky, through the knee or down, lift the heart lift up. And as you exhale, think about how slow you can move into chest, your shoulder blades away from each other, navel to spine tuck your tailbone. Let's try and move one part of the spine at a time. So inhaling, tailbone first, navel draws down, heart lifts, look up. And exhale, inch into chest, shoulder blades draw away from each other on your back. Can you draw your navel into your spine tuck the tailbone? Great. Spine three more rounds of breath just like this. Yeah, you did get to inhale. <laughs> so as we inhale, lift the tailbone. We'll lower the belly, lift the heart. And as we exhale, chin to chest, draw shoulder blades away from each other. Good. Two more rounds just like that. Good breathing there, Rachel. Breathe in. Legs Let's walk your hands forward. We're going to find a longer table so as you come back to a neutral spine. And full breath out. Let's bring your knees, oh sorry, your hips slightly further forward. So we're in kind of a long tabletop. So our shoulders are going to be further back than our wrists. And our hips are going to be further forwards than our knees. It's going to feel a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah. As we inhale, start to lower the hips, 
the mind can bend our legs apart. And as we exhale, mouth will go back, shoulders toes, round through the spine, and last. Yes, yeah, so inhale, we're going to come up to cat pose, chin to chest. Exhale, lower your hips, lift the heart. Good. Inhale, come back, arm up, long spine, and exhale, round the back, shoulders. And one more time, inhale. Exhale, lift. Good, breathe in. And exhale to chest. Good, inhale. And pause just here, breathe out. Good, let's find tabletop breathing. And let's find downward facing dog as we exhale. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips and back. So because it's going to be a continuous flow, we're not going to pause for longer either in any of these poses. So let's walk your hands forwards for a moment. Good. Inhale, start to round through the spine, come forward to plank. And exhale, bend your knees slightly through your hips to up as you come back to downward facing. There's a fine sort of like weight length movement to the spine, inhaling to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. <laughs> We're just moving literally between these two poses. Inhale, exaggerate the roundness. And exhale, soften your knees through your hips back and up, make your heart towards your thighs. Good. That was a bit of a caterpillar movement going on. It's great. <laughs> and exhale, come back. This time, breathe in, pause your down dog. And exhale, relax your heels down towards up. Good. Look forward towards your thumbs. And exhale, feet meet your hands, top of the mat. You can walk, jump, step, whatever feels good for you. Find a halfway lift, inhale, lengthen to the spine, and then bow down, fold, get heavy through the head. <laughs> Good, high mountain, breathe in, just right over to stand, now to up, exhale, and find your heart center. Good, so going to find some quite creative sun salutations right here. So let's take a deep breath in, return to high mountain, see if you're out of the sky. A hand, find your heart center, breathe out. Good, let's cactus your arms, bend into your elbows, nice squeeze with the heart. And then exhale, wrap your arms around, you take hold of opposite elbows, hand heavy for right dog. Good, deep breath in. And relax your fingertips to the mat, forward, forward, exhale. Halfway in, breathe in. Plank pose, breathe out. Good, pause in your plank for breath in. And exhale, chaturanga, let's bend your elbows, keep your knees lifted, good, inhale, upward facing, back bend, let's lift up the heart, untucking your toes, and then press into your top so your feet to your knees left, good, can you engage your glutes for your shoulders back, breathe in, exhale, downward facing dog, good, we're just learning new poses here, good, inhale, look forward, and feet meet your hands top of the mat. Just keep our hips lifted high and just walk your feet all the way to the top. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to shins. And exhale, forward, forward. Good. This time we're going to mix things up a little bit more. Let's airplane now, arms as we inhale. So for this, you're going to soften your knees a little bit. Reach your arms up and back. So you can draw your shoulder blades towards each other your back. Deep breath in. And then exhale, bend your knees more, let your fingertips raise up. Good, inhale, high mountain, straighten your legs, raise your arms And exhale, hands down your heart. Again, inhale, high mountain, reach out. Hands to heart, centre, actually move your breathe out. Good. Cactus your arms back, bend and inhale. And exhale, right dog, round through the spine, and fold. Good, inhale, inhale. And relax your fingers, it's time to breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plank pose, hands find the earth, step back. So again, this vinyasa, let's take a deep breath in here, just pause. And exhale, chest around your high to low, push your bend into your elbows, go halfway. Good, inhale, upward facing, dog and tuck your toes, lift the heart. And exhale, downward facing, dog roll over your toes. Look forward, breathe in. And exhale, feet meet your hands at the top of the mat. Good. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to lengthen. 
Then exhale to fall. Okay, lift your hip creases a little bit higher just here in this fold. And then can you draw your heart a little bit deeper down to a breath? Good. And playing your arms, breathing. Mm, yeah, that's it. Let's face our palms going down and forwards again. Good, that one. Exactly. <laughs> Good, let's pause here, breathing, catch it up. Exhale, your fingertips grease the mat as you lower your hips a little bit more. Good, inhale to cry mountain. Hands by your heart center, do that. We're doing good. One more time, cactus arms back then. Exhale to rise. Oh. Inhale to pause. Relax your face this time. Halfway lift, breathe in, hands to shin, so strong, straight legs. Exhale to plank pose. One last vinyasa. Good, let's pause here for breath in to lift up from here. Good, exhale, chatter on your high to lift, push up. Good, slow your tuck in the toes, lift the head, lift the heart. Exhale, downward facing down. Good, feet about hip width. That looks great. Good, look forward towards your bend. And let's walk your feet a little bit further forward. Good, that's it. <laughs> this time we're going to jump towards the top of the mat. So bend your knees, look forward, keep your hips as high. And then lightly as you can, your feet can land by your hands. <laughs> it's a little jam. Oh my God, this is your first time. What weight was that? Halfway lift, inhale, straight leg. And hips out to fold. Airplane your arms, breathe in. And exhale, grease up through your fingertips. Good, inhale, hang on this. Hands spread your heart. Good, how are we feeling? Feeling good. <laughs> yeah, well, let's keep the movement, let's keep the flow going. Good, hands spread your heart center. <laughs> She's super keen, isn't she? <laughs> well, let's from here, draw your left knee in towards your chest. I feel power to pass on a single leg in your team. Good. You flex your left foot and then allow this movement just to activate through the front line of your left shin. Good, steady through the mind. We're pulsing here, of course. Balancing <laughs> pose, moha. Good, inhale. And slow, steady step back with your left foot to the very back of the mat, as far back as you can. Yeah. Release your fingertips down to the mat on your own. Good. Get light to your fingertips as you look forward, lift up. And exhale to pyramid. Straighten that right leg like half split, so keeping the back knee lifted and the front toes down. Good. We're going to breathe in, re bend your left knee, right knee, and look up. And exhale to straighten your right leg and fold. Keep moving, flowing between these two poses. Inhaling, bend, lift. And exhaling, straight and forward. Keep moving on your own, moving with your breath. One more time. Exhale. Pause here in pyramid. If you are a little bit tighter through your hamstrings, you're welcome to grab blocks or books or anything you need to get underneath your hands. Or walking your hands backwards towards your right heel or your right knee can often make it a little bit more accessible if you're feeling tighter through your legs. So Rachel's egg dancer. Exiting the opposite word. It's not about the flexibility to prove it. Yeah. Well, let's keep the right leg, leg straight and look forward. Take a deep breath in. And then we bend your right knee, easy breath out. We're going to step back to three legged dog. So plant your palms. That left foot is going to stay back where it was. So left foot to the back of the mat. Yeah, that left foot is going to stay there. We're going to press both hands flat down into the mat. We're going to send that right leg up and back. So we're going to come to downward facing dog like a lion, but that right leg is going to reach straight up. And straighten that right leg and put, flex your right toes, drill them into the hand. Okay. Good. Pause here and here. As you exhale, we're going to bend that right knee and open the hip. So we're going to stack right hip on top of that. Good. 
You can get light into your right fingertips. So not move into wild thing just yet, but we're going to start approaching it. So you can even almost tend your fingertips like that. Yeah. And we'll break the yoga convention. Start to spiral your upper body towards the right hand side. Let's get a nice side stretch down that right side body. And we'll go, oh, you can do a few ones. Oh. <laughs> We'll have three legged dog straight in your right leg, square your hips, plant your right palm straight down. And exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Good. This time let's find crescent lunge, shoot both hands to the sky. And settle, pause, twice and stillness. <laughs> Good, deep breath in, fingertips spread wide. And exhale, bring your hands down to frame your right foot. All the way to the back. Good. Inhale, step your left foot forwards to meet your right halfway lift. Hands to shift. And exhale, forward fold. High mountain pose on your in breath. And hands find your heart. Good. Straight to the side, lift your right knee in towards your chest. Inhale. And exhale, pause, flex your right foot. Good, find some stone earth strength. Good, breathe. Good, one more. And then quietly, slowly, with as much control as you can, send that right foot to the back of your mat. This time, can you lower your right foot to the back at the same time as your fingertips lower down to the front? Good coordination skills going on right here. It's pretty good if you ask me. <laughs> Let's straighten your left leg, breathe in. And then, yeah, re bend your left knee, look up, exhale. Because find the same movement between these two poses. Same to get more open through the hamstrings again. If you need blocks for your hands, grab them. If you don't have any blocks, grab some pile of books or magazines, anything you got. Okay, two more rounds. Flowing between these two poses. Allow this to be a dance. So linking these two poses with the breath, but let them be as creative and expressive as you would like. Good. And pause here for breath in. Good, look forward, keep that left leg straight. And we bend your left knee. Good, all right, three legged dog. So plant your palms, that right foot will stay good. Lift that left leg up and back in. And exhale, let's bend the knee and open the hip. So again, think about kicking your left heel in towards your right butt cheek. <laughs> and then get light into your left fingers. It's going to spiral your upper body towards the left. We're not moving into full wild, but just enjoy this sense of lightness. A little bit of a balance challenge too. <laughs> now inhale, straighten your left leg, plant your left palm, square your hips, or your left toes can point down. And exhale, step your left foot in between your hands. Good. Crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your left hand. And exhale, lower your hands down to free in your left foot. Good. Step forward, top of the mat, half breathing. Nice. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, two hands in. Hands back to heart. Good. Going to mix things up a little bit. How are you feeling? Good. Good. How are you feeling? People watching are feeling good too. <laughs> Great. So from here, let's find share focus, new focus. Well, let's bring your big toes to touch, have a small space to your heels. There's two traditional alignments with our feet in yoga. Some people prefer hip width, some people prefer this tall poses. Yeah, so whatever feels good for you, but I do find chair pose can be quite helpful with our feet for this alignment. I, the thing is like anti-second position in ballet, is it? I don't even know. Yes, I still remember from the six. <laughs> oh, let's start to bend into your knees. Sink your hips down and back to your fingertips can trace the earth. Think about how low down you can bring your hips. So really think about low squat. And can you keep the depth to that squat as you start to reach your arms all the way up, keeping your knees bent? Is it staying in the squat? Okay, so for a moment, let's bring your hips back so your knees draw further back to you. Yeah. 
So more weight into your heels, but keep your big toe hands grounded. Hands find your thighs, and use your hands to press your upper body away from your legs. Good. Find your core right here, so draw lows in towards each other, engage your TBA. Good. And then how does it feel here to reach your arms all the way up, staying in this chair pose? Is that feeling okay for your back? Yeah. Good. Okay, give us an opportunity to get a little bit of expansion through our thoracic spine. But really focusing on keeping our core really good. I'm just going to talk for a while and let Rachel just pause <laughs> in chair pose. But Katasana, also in his fierce pose. You can see why. <laughs> Full breath in, looking between your thumbs. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. We're going to slowly as you can lift your heels so you can drop your hips all the way back towards your heels. Good. Let's <laughs> find some arm balance fun. So let's bring your hands to the mat. Good. So in our arm balance, we're going to bring our knees to the inside. Uh, so the outside of our knees will be, no, ah, the insides of our knees will be on the outside of our arms. Good. You may want to bring your hands a little bit further forward or your feet a little bit further back. So you've got a little bit of space. Good. Lift your hips until your knees can find the tops of your arms. We're always thinking armpits if possible. And then bend your elbows a little bit. You have to create that shelf for your legs. Good. How's that feeling for you? Yeah. Good. Lift up your hips and get light into one foot. And then find your breath, thinking rounding through the back body, maybe but look forwards, but then look at, lift up your other foot to you. Okay. Breathe. We're doing good. And then lower your feet down to the mat. Good. Let's from here, we're simply going to step back to down low. We're going to spare the jump back to plank pose from crew. <laughs> You won't do that. So, <laughs> maybe next day. Okay. <laughs> Good. Right leg to the sky. And straight to the leg, turn all your weight to his down. Just pause in. Good. And step your right foot forward. So keep our palms grounded if we can. So keeping the right knee in towards the chest, lift it, lift it, lift it, and then step it forward. Yeah. Great. All right. Now we're going to come up to crescent lunge on your inhale. Sweep your arms to the sky. And exhale, airplane your arms, hinge forward. That's good. So palms will maybe want to face the other way, and you'll be able to squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. I personally prefer them to face forwards and down. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So hinging forwards throughout our upper body, you're going to get light into your left toes. Okay, Rachel knows where we're going. You're going to fly that left leg coming into airplane pose as you lift your left leg and straighten the right. Good. I'm thinking a little bit of a back bend in this pose. So, yeah. Full airplane, the Kasana. Steady your breathing. Yeah. Next, bring your hands to your heart. Right big toe, mouth, hands down. Slowly bring your left knee in towards your chest. And then come all the way up into a single legged mountain. Woo! <laughs> so from here, let's lower that left foot all the way down. And relax, because I always feel that back to the tip of my head. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do that whole floor again. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> the second time. <laughs> it's not the third one, but let's bring our big toes and touch some more space between our heels. Relax your arms down by your sides. Inhale. Full breath out for heels. Okay, let's bend your knees, draw your hips down and back. Again, chair pose with your arms and spread. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Okay, slowly begin to lift up the heels and then lower your hips all the way down with control. So much control with cracky toes. <laughs> That's the knees. <laughs> That's the knees, oh my goodness. <laughs> let's lower your palms to the earth. We'll have a little bit of a crow pose play again. So knees to the outsides of your arms. Good. 
And then in this time, we're going to have a little bit of core play here. So once you come into your crow pose, we're going to do some toe taps. So start to lift up your hips. Go and then get light onto one foot. I think your right foot is your favorite foot to lift up to. And then lift up your left. Good. Lift your hips a little higher. Yeah, that was it. Good. Another toe tap, exactly. <laughs> so one foot at a time, exactly. Do some little kind of one foot down, the other foot down. Just floaty and then rather than bringing your weight into them. Good. So hips high. Good. Shift forward with your weight a little bit more. That's it. Good. And then we're going to tap. Tap. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to set that down with facing down. <laughs> Left leg, left leg. And then we have pause just here. And allow the tension to come back to the breath, reconnect. And let's find a thought with the breath that we think about constriction the back of your throat rather than the nose. So think about the constriction coming from the throat. Just deep and then lightly as you can, bring your left knee towards your chest, keep your hips open high as you round forward. We're going to step that left foot in between your hands. Good. Crescent lunge, breathing. And exhale, airplane your arms. And once again, palms can face down. Yeah. Broadening across the collarbones, get light into your right foot again. You're going to start to lift that right foot. As you straighten that left leg, lift up through the heart, gentle back, bend your chin, oh. get your doing great. Keep your left leg too, now really anchor down the inner edge. Good. Bring your hands to your heart center, slow movements. And your right knee in towards your chest. <laughs> Release that right foot all the way down. Okay. Rachel's doing awesome. <laughs> okay. How are we doing? <laughs> Breathing fast. <laughs> Feeling the energy flowing. Oh, okay. good. Great. All right. So we're going to kind of incorporate both of those together. Okay. You see what I mean. <laughs> Let's bring your hands to your heart center, draw your left knee in towards your chest, breathe in. Okay, inhale. And slowly as you can, step your left foot to the back. Okay, this time we're going to keep our fingertips lifted. So time to stay at your heart. Okay. Caress and lunge, inhale. And exhale, lower your hands all the way down. Fire knees, you can come and step back to down. Three legged dog, actually. Send your right leg up and back. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Okay, get a light into your right fingertips. We're going to step your right foot into wild things and step the right foot as close towards your left wrist as you can. So, all the way towards the left hip. Yeah. Lift up the hips. We're going to bend these toes forward and place the whole sole of the foot down. And make a lot of expansion through the chest. Good. Deep breath in. And exhale, three legged dog. Lower your right foot. I'm sorry, lower your right hand and lift your right leg up and back. We often need to do a little bigotry hop this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know why that is, but we always need to get. Good. Good. Full breath in here. And step your right foot in between your hands. Exhale. Okay, crescent lunge, loads of these are definitely breathing. Airplane your arms, exhale, slow breath. Inhale, lean forwards, get light into your left toes. Then you find airplane pose, straightening that right leg. Good. Right big toe stays down, so thinking heel, outer edge of foot, and the right big toe. Slowly bring your hands to your heart center, breathing. Left knee in towards your chest, exhale. Good, pause here. And exhale, lower your left foot. Good, right knee in towards your chest, keep the breath flowing. Good, inhale. And 
slowly lower your right foot to the back. Crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down. Three legged dog, left leg up and back. Bend your left knee and finger. Get light onto your left fingertips again. Wild things and up. You're going to step that left foot over and forward. Your dial, lift your hips, gaze towards your left fingertips. Good. And then just here, we have a little bit of lift at the thoracic side. Good. Good. Slowly making our way back to three legged dog. Left hand down, left, right leg leg raises. Exhale, step your left foot with control forward. So you're rounding through your back body so you can hold out front. Good. Inhale, crescent lunge, come all the way up. And exhale, airplane lungs. Inhale for airplane pose. And you flip your palms as you go. Okay. Exhale, hands find your heart. Keep your drift. You find one focal point to so look at it. So you go. Good, left big toe. Find that in the arch a little bit. Right knee in towards your chest. And then lower the right foot all the way down. Yeah. Game two. Now our hips are super open. Your hips feeling nice and flexible. Well, they are, yeah, we're all warmed up. Let's come down to you seated. I'm going to face the doorway. Okay. Okay, how are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, and do a uh, one last arm balance because I think you're going to be epic at this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you've got the flexibility, you've got the strength, and we're all going to give this a go. And you, for those of you who perhaps have, maybe don't have quite so much strength yet, we are still working on building up their stability throughout that upper body. This is where blocks for our hands may really come in handy. And we're going to demonstrate this to Rachel, though. I'm sure she does. Have a huge amount of strength being a reform of Pilates is extraordinary. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to keep the left leg straight out in front of us, but we're going to bring the right knee in. So, we're going to bend the right knee, bring the right foot in. Take hold of the right foot with your left and the elbow crease. And then the right and the elbow crease can wrap around the knee. So, kind of cradling our right leg, like it's a baby. <laughs> Rock the knee. <laughs> And we're just really trying here just to warm up the spines. It's so not pretty tall. Great glute stretch. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the pose we're going to move into is Astavakrasana. It's a angle pose. It's a really fun arm balance. But first we're going to try elephant trunk pose. So we're going to bring your right knee as high up that right arm as you can. <laughs> Yeah? Uh -huh. Cool. And then we're going to start off by going to squeeze the knee in towards your arm. So you're not going to let that arm, that knee fall. Let's bring your hands to the blocks. Good. Then you can bring both hands to the blocks. Good. See how tight you squeeze the knee in towards that arm? That's exactly what we're aiming for. Start to press your hands into the block so you lift up your hips. And see if you can lift up your left foot by flexing the left toes. That'll give you a little bit of support to the lift up. Yeah! Relax the face and take a few breaths. <laughs> Good. And lower all the way down. Good. So that's the elephant trunk pose. I could call it like a hostile or something like that. I forget the exact name. We're now going to transfer from that. If you guys are up for it, you're welcome to come along. If you feel like you're quite open hips, that's draining for this journey. <laughs> so what we're going to move into is we're going to move from elephant trunk pose, and then we're going to start to bring our legs out towards the side. So yeah, we won't need the blocks for this. If you did find you needed blocks for the previous pose, we're going to just repeat the previous pose because that's going to what's that's what's really going to help you find that lift and the strength through your shoulders. So in elephants, no, in Astavakrasana, what we're aiming for, she says hopefully, maybe not, you know, and start to lift up, straighten your legs out, and it's cool, it's like that. Really cool. <laughs> 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 yeah. Good. Yeah. So again, we're thinking right knee as high up that right arm as you can, above the elbow towards the shoulder if possible. Good. 
Bring both hands to the mat either side of your ears. Get squeeze the knee in towards your right leg. Yeah. Let's lift up the hips, lift that left foot, and then we're going to come out towards the right. Get bend your elbows back like a pusher. Yeah, get straighted. That was completely not helpful. Just to keep it. Just pissed. <laughs> okay. So you've got to get over the top of it. Yeah, exactly. You want, don't want to be below the elbow because then, yeah, that's not going to be able to access that pose. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> squeezing right there. Going to lift up. Again, start to swing both legs out towards the left as you, right as you lean forward to your upper body. Yeah. You can interlace your feet. Oh, so right. just, yeah, that's a problem going on the layers. So many. No, it's <laughs> okay. I find you should have more warning. You should have more warning. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, so you can lift up from there if you want. <laughs> yeah, start off with your left leg. Are you going to try that way? So I think, yeah, let's try. Lift. Yeah, and then out. Hit the chores with the upper body, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way, it's totally. You want to start with some knee starts? No. Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay. Can you try the other leg? We're going to try the other leg. <laughs> but first, let's throw the elephant's trunk pose. We're going to use this lots and lots again, just so you have that idea of just how much we have to lift up. Almost thinking lifting up to the pelvic floor a little bit as well to help us create that lift. Find your abdominals again, draw your lower ribs in towards each other. But first step, cradling the legs, so to get that really good, good boot stretch. <laughs> Alright. So now we're gonna move the hands to the blocks and adjust the blocks as you need. I'm getting some classes breath now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did that feel on that side? Uh, easy, I can feel quite working hard on this one. Yeah, cool. Okay. So one thing I'm going to suggest that we do in this pose, I always forget until I actually do it, which no need to go on top, but yeah, if you cross, woo, if you cross your oh, like so, yeah, exactly. So you're gonna kind of cross the ankles and that's gonna help also give you a little bit more kind of, I don't know, ease <laughs> because your legs are going to be joined together. Okay, so first lift up and cross, ankles are just coming back. Yeah, good. Lift your hips high as you can, bend your elbows. Yeah. So <laughs> the main thing we need to be thinking about at the same time in all this pose, along with all the means of other things, is bending the arm and kind of leaning forward. Like trying to bring your chin to, yeah. It's been maybe not that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more time. Yeah, so let's break this down really slowly. <laughs> let's bring the left knee high up that left arm. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Press into your palms. Hold it up. And then from there, try that mind. Oh, this is great. Oh, now the knees plus wrist. So yeah. Go. Pitch forwards, hips back. Straighten up. Good. Yes. Yeah. Getting there. That aim. That aim. Hey, I'll see you today. Come back next week. Yes. That's when I'm feeling that it. Alright. Let's start to wind things down. Can you hear how the first time You guys want to join us for Shavasana? Lie like straight down to your mat. If you want a bolster, again, let me know. In a bolster? Yes. Yeah, comfy. It's nice and comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Good, so if you have a bolster at home, we're going to, and we set just a little bit further back, so, yeah, so your feet won't hang off the other the man. Yeah, so if you have a bolster at home, I really invite you to grab a block, place it underneath your head again, which you can now start to lay all the way back. The legs can extend out in front of you. If that feels a lot, feel lower back with your legs straight out, you're welcome to bend into your knees instead. And if you don't have a bolster, do not worry. Laying down on your back can feel amazing to you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll leave this right here, guys. If you have 
some time to rest, I really recommend you do so. And if you joined us on this crazy journey today, this fun class, thank you so much. Have a beautiful weekend, it is the weekend where you are, and if not, the weekend is always coming. <laughs> Namaste, ladies, thank you so much.